Service availability. They offer no money-back guarantee for the ZDT, nor do they guarantee 100% uptime. <laughs> ah, wait a minute. Why is it called zero downtime then? Uh, I lock The little dongle that could. The little dongle that raises so many debates in the audio engineering community. The little dongle that people either like or hate. And here's my video because, well, I personally don't have a problem with Pace, the maker of iLock, but I do have a problem with a few things with their zero downtime service. And you'll understand why in a few seconds. So first of all, what is zero downtime? Well, it's really simple. And I actually like this because it is an insurance policy for if your iLock is either lost, stolen, or breaks. Now, I understand the first two. The third one, where if it breaks due to no cause of your own, that's where I have a problem with this because the iLock is a $46 USB stick. So the reason I'm making this video isn't just to complain about zero downtime, it's actually to expose the policies that Pace tends to hide. Now here's all the information up front. Zero downtime, AKA ZDT, is an optional iLock coverage that gives you immediate access to your licenses in the case of a broken, lost, or stolen iLock. If you rely on 24 access to your licenses, ZDT is for you. When an RMA order, and here we go again, using acronyms, people don't know what that means. I actually, I think it's return merchandise something. I don't know, but RMA should not be an acronym, first of all. But anyway, when an RMA order is placed for an iLock with ZDT coverage, temporary licenses for those licenses, what? Temporary licenses for those licenses last seen on the iLock, okay, are immediately deposited to your iLock account. Just activate the temporary licenses to a spare iLock and keep using your software. For true zero downtime, be sure to keep a spare iLock handy. All right, if you don't have access to another iLock and can wait a day or two to resume using your licenses, you can wait for the replacement iLock, include it in your RMA order to arrive. It is cross shipped to you and leaves our warehouse at the earliest opportunity. We don't wait for your broken iLock to arrive. All right, first of all, what is this RMA stuff? Because that seems like there's got to be some money involved. I, I don't think that they're going to give you a free replacement iLock in case of, um, especially lost or theft. A, again, a broken one. And this is where I really do not like the way Pace operates because it was a concern of mine that I've been using and I basically had an iLock plugged into my computer for eight years now. And eventually I understand that heat, deteriorates components. Heat is the enemy of electronics. So that in itself, just being plugged in all the time, can eventually make it die. So why is it my responsibility for something under normal wear and tear that breaks? Why is that my responsibility when the thing, you know, normally is like 46 bucks? And let's say even if it wasn't eight years. Let's say the thing broke after four months. Again, now I don't know if there's normally a warranty for things like this, but that's a problem. So, all right. The way it works is if you get a ZDT, there is a week long, they call it cooling off period, and you cannot request replacements unless you pay, like I think it's $110, this uh, expediency fee, which is funny because they don't even tell you what it is, but they do say that they at least tell you that it, it exists. So I'll give them credit for that. If you have ever lost an iLock, you know the expenses and headache of contacting each of the software publishers for replacement licenses. Theft and loss coverage is an option you can choose to add to your ZDT covered iLock. The TLC option allows us to replace your full licenses for a lost or stolen iLock RMA in the same way we do for a broken iLock RMA. The best thing about TLC 
it's included free with your ZDT subscription. Now here's the key. If you enable the TLC option, if, your iLock will need to be seen by our server at least once every 90 days for a refresh operation. This refresh enables your licenses to continue working for an additional 90 days. If the iLock is not seen by our server by the end of the refresh period, the licenses on it will cease to authorize your software. Using iLock License Manager to do the refresh operation will immediately reinstate your licenses. Now look, they include this little video, but look what happens when I zoom out. Look how tiny that is. Now, if I put up a, a screen capture video that was that tiny, the size of, what is that? Uh, about three and a half inches long by two inches tall. If I put a video out like that here on YouTube, you guys would give it a thumbs down. I'm going to give this video a thumbs down because I got to zoom in this tight, and I don't even know if I can scroll over to it. Nope, I can't scroll over to it. So, yeah, I can't zoom in. Now, I can see it a little bit here. But, yeah, they don't even tell you in an email. What is this, view details? No, I can't click that. So, this is one of my biggest problems with ZDT, all right? And I'm going to show you guys how to do this right now. Because they will not tell you this. And I have to censor my licenses. So, look. I click this. This is the one that has ZDT, as you can see over here. And, well, where's the option to add TLC? Well, you have to cl right click and do show details. And then, oh, here it is. So first of all, you have to click this slider, all right? And then it takes like a minute or 30 seconds, somewhere around there. But here's the thing. I have to remember to come here every 90 days and hit refresh, which I'll do right now. And then it resets it. Now, you can do it in between the 90 days, which I recommend anytime you remember to, to refresh this. But the fact that this doesn't happen automatically is complete bullshit. You hear me, Pace? This is bullshit that you cannot make this refresh automatically anytime you sign into your account or have some kind of pop-up that says, hey, would you like to refresh your TLC, you know? By the way, TLC, great little girl group. I love them, and uh, I recommend going to watch their music videos. Anyway, look, here's the other thing. I haven't read this yet because I'm like, look, I, I want ZDT anyway. I'm going to buy it. It's only 30 bucks a year. You know, I'd rather deal with that than be screwed, all right? So what I'm going to do is show you the terms of service that they do not put out front, you know, and that most people will not read. Now, I'm actually going to click the one that you agree to when you buy it because I don't trust this. I don't trust that it's the same. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but I'm going to show you the PDF file that I saved of the terms and conditions so that you can see for yourself, and I'm going to read it out loud because I don't like roaches. I like shining my light on the roaches. All right, so here we go. The following are the terms and conditions of the zero downtime service. Agreement to such terms and conditions is what? It got cut off. I guess is required before purchasing. All right. You know what? I'm going to have to look at this on here. Yeah. Sorry, guys. It does look like it's the same. So here we go. Zero downtime coverage is $30 per iLock for up to one year or until your iLock breaks is lost or stolen, whichever comes first. Theft and loss coverage may optionally be enabled on a zero downtime covered iLock. There is no additional charge for TLC. Once purchased, zero downtime cannot be used for a one week cooling off period. If you need to use ZDT during the cooling off period, you must pay an additional expediency fee of $100. Okay, there you go. ZDT coverage and expediency fees are non-refundable. At the end of the 12-month period, your ZDT subscriptions will automatically renew using the credit card on file. Now, see, I don't like that. I don't like that this is not optional. Now, maybe I can email them and say, take my credit card off of your records because this is how hackers get your information. If there is a problem with your credit card at the time of renewal, 
you will be notified by email to update this information on iLock.com. If your iLock breaks, unless your iLock has theft and loss coverage, broken or damaged iLocks must be returned to PACE in order for us to provide full license replacement. If you cannot provide us with the iLock, PACE cannot legally provide you with full replacement licenses. PACE can only provide temporary licenses for those licenses known to us from your last synchronize with our server if you add new licenses outside of the iLock license manager and have not synchronized temporary licenses cannot be provided for those new licenses. All right, that's fine. PACE cannot provide extensions to the temporary license periods. Again, that's fine. And they suggest that you send your iLock to them as soon as possible. And obviously that is smart. And I would add to that, you should insure your iLock for whatever your licenses cost in total, or at least the ones that you care about. Insure it. I know it costs a lot more, but hey, it's worth it because UPS or the Postal Service or FedEx, sometimes they lose or break things. All right, next up, if your iLock is lost or stolen and you do not have theft and loss coverage enabled, now again, this is key. This is why you need to refresh it. PACE can only provide temporary licenses. PACE has no license to replace and cannot provide full replacement licenses for lost or stolen iLocks. You must seek full replacement licenses from the software publishers themselves. In the case of lost or stolen iLocks with TLC enabled, PACE can provide temporary licenses and after a review of your RMA order, full replacement licenses. Now, it goes on, PACE can only provide temporary licenses for those licenses known to us from your last synchronize with our server. If you add new licenses outside of iLock License Manager and have not, I don't know how you do, oh, I guess you can do it through the software, but I would think that would have to go through their server, right? Anyway, uh, if you add new licenses outside of the iLock License Manager and had not synchronized, your, uh, the, then the temporary licenses cannot be provided for those new licenses. So yes, use this software. You have to, you should anyway. Pace cannot provide extensions to the temporary license. Okay, so it's just repeating what's set up here. Limitations, now here we go. ZDT coverage is non-transferable. You cannot move zero downtime between your iLocks or accounts if you remove a covered iLock from your account, you will lose coverage for that iLock, okay? If your covered iLock breaks, is lost, or stolen, your ZDT coverage expires with that iLock. Wow. So this is what bothers me. You're paying them for insurance in case something that they make breaks. Now, I under, again, I understand if somebody snaps it off or somebody steps on it or breaks it in some other physical fashion, but if this little SOB breaks because of heat and that's it, why is that my problem? Why is that my fault, right? But anyway, if you wish to cover a new iLock, you must purchase another ZDT subscription for the new iLock. A small number of software vendors, this is key, do not support the ZDT program due to business or technical reasons outside of PACE anti-piracies control. This means that most, but not all, licenses are covered by zero downtime. You must contact those vendors in the event that you have an issue with an iLock that has their licenses. Now, what the F? Why don't you guys be a little bit more forthcoming with the information about which software vendors don't support ZDT because we should know this information. We shouldn't have to go through our list of licenses, which, you know, this is a pretty big list. All right. I know I would have to email every single one of these guys. So it would probably take me at least an hour to email all these companies to see, hey, do you guys support ZDT? Now next, temporary and replacement licenses for products not covered by ZDT 
cannot be provided by the ZDT system. Ooh. See? That right there is something they should have at the very beginning. Not buried halfway down the page. Because that means that if a company that you spent money on, you know, and a lot of these plugins are at least a hundred bucks. That is not chump change. You know? A hundred bucks. And they could just say, nope, we don't support ZDT. Sorry, you gotta buy from us again. That is out and out BS. Pace provides no guarantee regarding which products are supported by ZDT. Again, another key element that should be at the front, at the very top, but they don't want to say that. They want to bury it in the middle. Typical bureaucrats. Oh, wait, this isn't a government organization. Anyway, that's how the government typically works. They bury the ridiculous stuff on page 69 out of 180. And then here we go. Each specific publisher can provide exact details on the services available with their products. Okay. So this is where maybe as a service to you guys, the real home recording viewers, maybe I'll go through and find out every single one of their ZDT policies so that we know which companies to boycott. That is what I should do. And that is what I'm going to do. It's going to take me a while, but I will do it. Because, again, I don't like cockroaches hiding in the dark corners and crevices. All right, here we go. If you go through the ZDT replacement process for an iLock, Pace will automatically provide your contact information, including your name, account ID, and email address, plus details regarding the replacement process to the software vendors associated with the lost licenses. This is done regardless of your profile privacy settings. <laughs> Thanks for telling me in the middle. Service availability. They offer no money back guarantee for the ZDT, nor do they guarantee 100% uptime. <laughs> ah, wait a minute. Why is it called zero downtime then? Why is it called zero downtime? <laughs> they do not guarantee, by the way, they spell guarantee wrong. Um, they do not guarantee 100% uptime of the system. Pace will follow best business practices to ensure that the system is functional and running at all times. Occasionally, the system may be offline due to maintenance or circumstances beyond the control of Pace. By the way, I decided uh, for my privacy and so Pace doesn't screw my uh, licenses, I am going to um, blur out the licenses and my name and all that. So, yeah. Except as stated above, there is no other warranty, representation, or condition regarding Pace's products, mercantility, and fitness for a particular purpose. Pace is not responsible for any delays beyond its control. Pace's entire liability for damages to you or any other party for any cause whatsoever, whether in contract or in tort, including negligence or any other cause of action, shall in no event exceed the greater of the price you paid for the Pace product or the price you paid for the Pace services, which caused the damages or that are the subject matter of or are directly related to the cause of causes. I have to <laughs> be by the mic. I can't like go over to the other part of the monitor. I should have worn my better glasses. Anyway, look, a bunch of legal mumbo jumbo. They're basically saying you can't sue us. Or, I mean, you could sue them, but you're going to lose and it'll be thrown out of court because people will try to say, oh, I lost the $10,000, man. You know? It's like, how can you prove that, number one? Anyway, look, I did the math, all right? Oops, I, I just realized I forgot to put this in 1080p mode. It'll be like early real home recording videos that were recorded at 1680 by 1050. <laughs> yes, I still have not bought a 1080p monitor per, for my personal usages. I don't know why. Well, I mean, I, I do know why. 200 bucks is why. This monitor works perfectly fine. All right, so I did the math on what it cost to use iLock plugins. 
and not have to worry about a bunch of BS. All right. By the way, I actually had to use Internet Explorer, which I probably haven't used in at least a year. And it's the old version of Internet Explorer, not Edge or whatever it's called these days, just to get my order through for ZDT. So Pace, I don't know who's running your website or at least the shopping cart part of it, but y'all need to get your shit together. Google Chrome on a Windows 7 machine is probably the most common setup and you guys don't support it. I had to enter my credit card information like three times and then I finally switched to Internet Explorer and it worked. What the F, man? Honestly. Anyway, look, in order to get all this crap to work, you need to buy two iLocks for $46 each or you can buy one for $46 and then get the Slate Digital Everything Bundle for, I believe, two months and you'll get a free one if you do that. ZDT is $30 per year. So right off the bat, it is $122 if you don't go through the Slate Everything. And even if you do, it's still going to cost you 50 bucks for Slate Everything. And then, let's see. And then you have to manually enable that TLC like I showed you earlier. You have to remember to do it every 90 days. So I would put it in your calendar on the 85th day to renew that SOB. And then, if the crap hits the fan and your iLock breaks, it's going to cost you between $30 to $40 plus driving to the post office or UPS to send it through the mail domestically. So if it's outside of the country and you have to send your little USB dongle to Pace, then it's, it's going to cost you even more money. Now, I don't know if you have to pay for an extra one. See, I already have an extra one. I have two now, thanks to Slate Digital. Both of them I got, quote unquote, for free, all right? But look, I don't know if they just transfer your stuff. And then there's the thing about, well, if we can't find the licenses on it, then you might not be able to get them back. What? What the? Honestly, if I ever have to deal with an iLock breaking and then I can't get back the software that I paid good money for, I will never, ever, ever spend money on another iLock plugin again, period. And I will reluctantly rebuy whatever license I cannot get if I need it for recall. And that's what's really going to piss me off because once you buy software and as long as your operating system stays the same, as long as your doll stays the same, everything should work as if you just bought it for the first time. I'm not saying you are entitled to upgrades for operating systems or uh, computers or, or whatever the case may be. I understand that. A company needs to survive. That's why Waves has their WP service, their WUP. But when it comes to something like this, where... They say, oh, well, because the the USB dongle decided to just die. Now you got to go rebuy your stuff, even though you had ZDT. It's absolute BS. And like I said, I'm going to track down what companies will not give you licenses back in the unfortunate event that their stupid little dongle breaks. You know, the dongle you didn't even want to get involved with to begin with, but in order To have access to the plugins, you have to buy this little plastic key. Well, the newer ones are made out of metal. whoop de doo But anyway, Pace, you got a little good con job going on because not only do people have to buy the iLock hardware, not only is it smart for them to buy ZDT insurance, but on top of that, the software vendors have to pay you guys money. And from what I read... It's somewhere in the range of like twenty to fifty thousand dollars a year. Now I might have those numbers wrong, but it's somewhere in the vicinity of I don't know if they they do it per license or how that works, but the bottom line is Pace is making a killing all the while playing I don't want to call it a full con job, but Their policies, again, I like that ZDT exists, don't get me wrong, but guess what? You shouldn't have to buy this anyway. If their stupid dongle breaks due to no fault of your own, you shouldn't have to pay an extra penny other than maybe shipping the thing back. You know, Pace is making way more money. They don't, you know, this is just 
like vacation money for them. This is retirement money for them. But you know what? It's okay. Because I'm going to recommend to you guys that you only ever spend a penny on iLock protected plugins if you are doing this as a business. If you are just doing this as a bedroom studio or you know, making your own music, use free plugins. Use stuff that is not protected by iLock. I'm telling you right now, you do not want to get involved with this game. No matter how good the plugins are, no matter how much I gush or somebody else gushes about how good the quality is, guess what? I also gush about Acoustica Audio plugins, and they are not protected by this bullshit. Okay? So yeah, avoid iLock and be much less stressed out about this happening and having to, you know, buy an extra eye lock and buy this and buy that. And it's like, that's all it is. It's a money pit. So don't become a part of the money pit. Stay away from pace. You know, there's no reason these days because back in the day when I bought mine, the best plugins were eye locked. That is no longer the case. So if I could go back in time, I would probably say, sorry, Slate Digital. Sorry, you know, all the other ones that I'm not going to name. You know, by the way, Isotope, you have um, challenge response option and an eye lock option. So I appreciate that. So even though you may have seen a license on here, that doesn't mean that you necessarily have to have eye lock. It's just an option for some com- companies like uh, Sound Toys. You only need to download the software. And that's it. You don't have to have the dongle. Now, I don't know how ZDT works in those cases. Like, if your computer breaks, what happens then? That's a really good question. What happens if my computer breaks and I have to buy another one or get the motherboard replaced or the hard drive replaced or whatever? I don't know how their protection works. But what happens in that case? Pace. What happens if it's not the USB dongle? What happens if it's the computer that breaks? Then am I going to send you my motherboard? Seriously. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked my ranting, if you liked my exposure of their policies, hit that big thumbs up button and leave me a comment saying, yeah, Adam, we agree. Or if you didn't like what I said, hit the thumbs down button and say, Adam, you're ridiculous. Quit whining. You sound like a little kid. (laughs) That's okay. You're entitled to your opinion and so am I. So that's the way I like to roll. And, um... Yeah. Sorry, all companies that use iLock. I know it's one of the best anti-piracy things out there, but Pace's policies are garbage. And yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Adam for RealHomeRecording.com. Boycott iLock.